How you doing, Trent? Just fine, Gilly. Finishing our homework. Speaking about finishing, what are we going to do after we graduate? We'll get married and we'll get our own place. I found this great home in Oklahoma. You're going to love it. Tread, we need to work on an issue between us. What? You know, your thing. My what? You know, your monster. Oh, him? <laughs> he can't move in with us? No. I'm marrying you, not you and the monster. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, of course. Of course he can't move in with us. I, I know, Dad, yeah. <sighs> Good. What are you going to do with him? He can move in with us. Or get rid of him. Uh, but how are we going to get rid of him? Now, Tread, we play the waiting game. Come in. Excuse me? Is that monster for sale? He sure is. Yes! I always wanted a monster to put in my closet. Oh, he's not an in my closet monster. He's an underneath my bed monster. Oh, butter biscuits. I already have a underneath my bed monster. I thought today was going to be the day. Why didn't he buy it? Maybe he's allergic. Hello? just glassing through me old telescope and I spotted your sign. Are you selling your monster? Can I buy it from you? Sure. Oh, good save the queen. That's jolly good news. I'll take the monster off your hands. I'm a very rich old lady and if people knew I had a monster on my property, no one would steal from me. Send it over to me at once. I'll pay for the overseas shipping. Oh, thank you, British lady. Thank you. Here's my address. 73 Featherstone Street. F-E-A. You need to fit that monster in a priority box. You have got mail. Is that monster in the box I just gave you? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Are you sure about that? Why do you doubt us? Did she really send the monster? She sure did. Did we just get away with that? Yes, we did. Now we can get married. Wonder why I sleep in a suit? Cause tomorrow is a brand new day and I'll be ready. Good night underneath my bed, monster. <laughs>